truck drivers plying the Busia Malaba border have rejected proposal of an importer shouldering a new levy imposed on them. Movement is now at a standstill as traffic continues to pile up at the border. Drivers have continued protesting the directives saying the importer will not accept but instead redirect the levy on the transporter. If not resolved, the dispute will put a dent to business in the East African bloc. Business at the Kenya-Uganda border at Malaba in Busia County had come to a standstill after Kenya truck driver stage protests following President Uweri Museveni's fresh directive, which stated that the drivers were required to have mandatory COVID-19 tests at a cost of 3,600 shillings despite having negative test certificates. The drivers had been denied entry into Uganda despite showing proof that they had been fully vaccinated. They added that the move would impact the business between the two countries as some of them were transporting perishable goods to the neighboring country. The Kenya Drivers Associations have rejected a proposal by Uganda government officials that an importer shoulders the new levy slapped upon the truck drivers plying along the Great Lake region. He said that it's better that the importer should directly pay the fee because transporters earn low wages and deductions will be catastrophic to them. Political leaders have asked the national government to urgently address traffic snarl up along Busia Malaba border, saying the country is losing business and undermining economic growth. Katika protocol ya health ya East African community, na desk moja ambaye inakaliwa na viongozi na maofisa wa afya. Ule driver natoka Mombasa kama mebeba kitu. Kibali cha kuonyesha amechanjwa iwe signed na hawa viongozi au maofisa kutoka nchi hizi zote akifika Uganda waganda wanaona stambi yao na signature yao Reporting for lunchtime news I am Teresa Mtai